this steering committee meeting on the integrated management of forest landscapes in the Congo Basin, chaired by the Minister of Environment and Nature Protection, Hele Pierre, brings together stakeholders to evaluate the progress made in implementing the integrated management approach two years after. The project aims to identify ways to support beneficiaries and at the same time explore national strategies to address climate change. The meeting seeks to assess the effectiveness of the integrated management approach in securing the biological integrity of the Congo Basin's forest landscapes while increasing economic opportunities and livelihoods for forest-dependent communities. So the importance of this project is to be able to make that impact at two, at, uh, two levels. The first one is on the preservation of the natural capital of uh, Cameroon and the Congo Basin in general. So the forest, uh, the biodiversity, and the second uh, aspect is to be able to provide to local communities and indigenous people living around those forests the sustainable livelihood. The Congo Basin, spanning across six countries, is the second largest contiguous block of rainforest globally, supporting about 118 million people and providing essential ecosystem services, including climate regulation, carbon sequestration, and biological diversity. Il y a les pratiques de braconnage aussi à ce niveau, mais la gestion, le suivi et puis l'organisation des communes. We keep a close eye on illegal hunting and also monitor the management and follow-up activities of communities involved. This is done to ensure that biodiversity is preserved. This helps us track all these activities and verify that they are carried out in accordance with established regulations. Outcomes from the meeting will inform future initiatives and partnerships aimed at ensuring the long-term sustainability of the Congo Basin's forest landscapes.